Huntington disease is a disease of the brain. Um, basically, it's similar to Alzheimer and Parkinson in that you have neurons that die in your brain, some of the cells of the brain, but uh, the main difference is that it starts very early in life, it starts around 30s or 40s, and then people have problems with movement. They are very uncoordinated, and it's what it was called Korea in, in the past. And then they also start having problems with cognition, rec recognizing people, rec remembering names, and eventually they undergo dementia. So what it was known before about Huntington disease is that it's caused by a mutation in a protein that is called Huntington, and that becomes longer in the patients. And it was known that this protein was toxic for the, for the cells, but it was not known the mechanism of toxicity. What we suspected about the, the reason why this protein was toxic is that it was probably interfering with the mechanism of cleaning, because it was known that the protein accumulated. When you have something toxic, the cells have mechanisms to clean it up. So the fact that it was not being removed makes us uh, think that maybe this protein itself was interfering with the cleaning. The cells use different ways to clean any garbage or any toxic product that they don't want to have inside. And one of the, this, this mechanisms is basically taking uh, the garbage out to the garbage tracks that in this case are called lysosomes. So, but there, there is a second mechanism that is probably more common because it's also the one that you do at home. That is you put the garbage in a bag and then a couple of days later you take it to the garbage tracks that will be the lysosomes. So what we found is that this mutant protein, it really interferes with the ability of these bags to hold the garbage. So by the time that you take the, the bag to the garbage truck, it's basically empty. So you are not efficient in removing all these toxic products and all this garbage that the cell wants to eliminate. So our paper was published in the April 11th issue of Nature Neuroscience, and the major finding is that this mutant protein, Huntington, when it's longer than it should, it interferes with the cleaning mechanism in the cells. We think that our finding is important because until now there has been a lot of emphasis in trying to improve the, the removal of these toxic proteins by trying to enhance the number of garbage tracks that you have, of lysosomes in the cell. But we, we think that it doesn't matter how many garbage tracks you put, if the bags that you are delivering with the garbage are empty, you are still going to have garbage in the cell. So we think that our study might encourage people to look more of the mechanism of how you trap things in the bags and seal them to make sure that you can then deliver them to the, to the lysosomes and that might uh, result in a change in the way that therapeutic is, is um, de uh, designed. We think that the symptoms of Huntington disease appear late in life, even you have the mutation since the, the patients are born, is because the cleaning mechanisms that normally take care of all your cells are able to eliminate the toxic protein for a while until the protein really interferes with their function. So that gave us a little of hope that if we are able to maintain the cleaning mechanisms as when these kids were born, we should be able to keep the time free of disease longer or delay the, the onset of symptoms in these patients. Thank you.